so I'm, I'm literally, you know, there, being on the road as much as I was, I'm trying to think of things that I can talk about. And I do have one that popped into my head. Um, now, I don't know where we were going. Because if you've been on this channel for a while, or this Patreon for a while, you realize that I have, like, no sense of memory whatsoever. But I do remember that it was a loop that we had to drive consistently for hours and hours and hours. Right? And so we're on the road, and it, Tommy Dreamer was the one driving. I want to say I was in the passenger seat. I don't remember who was in the back seat. Now, to, before you finish with the story, would Tommy Dreamer be considered a good driver or a bad driver? Because we hear a wheel man. Is he a good wheel man? Is he just above average? Where, where would you? Where is he? Is he a good I, one? I, I mean, I, I never got into an accident with him or anything, so I would think he was a good driver. Okay. I think everybody's a better driver than me. I'm the shittiest driver well, out you there. Well, did, you did your fair share of driving on trips. I have, but in ECW, like, if it wasn't a local, then I would get into either Tommy's car or Paul's car. Okay. Okay. So, it was this loop, and I don't know if we, I don't know if we, like, flew and then had to drive everywhere, or we just drove everywhere. But we were driving, and we were driving for a really long time, to the point of when we pulled up to the hotel, it was 7 a.m. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was bad. Um, but I remember we were so delirious, and it was pitch dark. We were literally seeing shit on the road, <laughs> seeing things on the road. And I was like, oh, there's... I said, I just saw a pig run by wearing a shoe, wearing one shoe. Like, we were seeing things. We weren't saying it to be dumb. We were hallucinating. Because you were driving for so long? Because we were in the car for, like, it seemed like hours. And we literally, it was, we watched the sunrise in the car. We pulled up, it was like 7.10 or something. And we had a show that night. And... It was just, I just remember like we went and we slept for a little bit and then we got up, showered, and we had to head to the building. Um, but just being delirious and seeing, oh, oh, I know what it was. The pig pooped in his shoe. <laughs> How would you see that as you're driving? He was on the, he was on the road and he, it, I think, I think I was like, oh my God, I just saw a pig pooping in his shoe. And everybody was like, what is wrong with you? And I was like, I don't even know. I'm delirious. And like, no, no drugs consumed. No consumed. drugs, okay, no wow, drinking. No, we weren't a drug crew. Like we weren't the drug crew. Like it was me, Dreamer, uh, Carino, Jack Victory, uh, uh, Lou D'Angelo, uh, D'Angeli. Uh, uh, who else was with us? I think it was like that was the like the main five that hung out most of the time, and uh, we didn't do drugs, we didn't drink. That good. you Very know, good. Good for you. yeah, we would like go back and eat pizza and just hang out, and that was it. Um, but yeah, the 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 pig pooping in the shoe. I swear, I swore I saw it. And then, like, Tommy saw something that no one else saw. <laughs> like, everybody was seeing stuff, and we were just all, like, we felt like we were hallucinating. Like, you know the cartoon where they see the water yeah. in the desert? Yeah. And they go there, and they're digging, but it's just sand. <laughs> like, that's what we were doing. A mirage. Yes! It was so bad. We were so tired. And I, I, I really want to say we put, like... Close to a thousand miles on the car, or and something. you don't know where you were going. No, I don't remember where the hell we were going. Wow. I now let me ask you this. So and then, all right. So with those trips, and then maybe not that one because you guys were just driving for a long time and hallucinating. Do you ever have an instance where you're driving with somebody and you know, are like, I made a mistake. I shouldn't be on the road with this guy. I should switch cars or. You know, maybe on the way back, I'm not going to ride with the same crew. Were you expected to be, if you went one way, were you expected to be with them on the way back? So, I don't, 
I don't remember that being like the etiquette. I know a lot of uh, like the old school guys. Oh, you have to travel with who you went with. Okay. Um, I've heard that story a million times, but we were just like, do you have room? Can you fit one more? Yeah. Do you not? Okay. Can you take him? Like, we didn't want to leave anyone behind, obviously, but everybody had their little crew that they traveled with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I want to say it was like Sabu and Van Damme. They were always traveling like together. Um, I told you like us five right. usually traveled together or we would travel with Paul. Um, and then like ring crew was always together. So it was like Chetty, Doring, Roadkill, Mikey, um, Tom Marquez, like all those guys, they would always be traveling together. Um, and then like random people, Randy was our sound guy. Nova maybe would be with Randy. Um, I don't know. Everybody just had their little clicks, but we it wasn't like we left anybody behind. Okay. Now, were you? would that be the New York crew? Wasn't there a, a distinction between the crews? You were the Philly crew. Yeah, we were the... Crew? Well, we were the Philly crew, um, but, like, Tommy was the only New Yorker okay. that was in the right. Philly crew. Right, because I was going to say, you were definitely not a New York crew, uh, part, but... No, but if I went with Tommy and Paul... Got it. <laughs> but it wasn't really labeled. We were just the Philly crew because we all flew out of Philadelphia. Okay. You know what I mean? Got it. Like, Molino would be with us at the airport, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think, like... Some people would travel alone because they didn't want to deal with bull, bull crap. You know, you know, I mean, but I got to tell you, that... that I feel like that's where I would fit into that kind of lifestyle because I don't want to be responsible for anybody else. I don't want to have to wait for anybody else. I kind of want to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. But the person who does their own thing, do you look at them in that environment and be like, all right, that guy's a little weird? Or you just say, yeah, he wants the space. I don't think he's weird, but I, I like, I would say, like, what are you, antisocial? You right, can't have right, a buddy? Right, right. Like, you know, I, I, for me, I enjoy having somebody else in the car with me because I, number one, I'm a, I'm a, I'm trying not to curse. I'm a really bad driver. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good with directions. Um, I literally will flip out if I make a wrong turn. I will start to panic. I will start to sweat in places you don't even want to know. It's really bad. Um, so I like to have a wingman with me to help me navigate and to let me know where I'm supposed to go. Um, like the story when, you know, me and Sabu and, and Sandman were a crew, right. <laughs> excuse me, in WWE. I mean, they weren't much help, but at least I had two men with me right, if in you were the in car. Trouble, yeah. yeah, like I had, I, I felt safer. <laughs> they weren't much help. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't much help at Yo, all. Yo, turn left. Yo, girl, your, your garbage sucks. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. Whatever. Um, it's always, for me, it's always that, um, sense of, uh, safety. I felt safer. I didn't like driving alone, you know? Um, I had to drive one time I had, I had to drop hack off. Um, I want to say we were coming back from like Washington DC or something like that. And we drove down and cause WWE wasn't flying us. Well, the $45 flight from Philly. No, they, they, they didn't fly us. CC. So I drove, but Hack had to do something at WWE headquarters. Um, so he, or no, maybe it wasn't DC. Maybe we were up north. He might have had to go to Connecticut for something. So I dropped him off. And then I had to drive the, the rest of the way by myself. And talk about panic mood because then I it, it was like map quest oh, well you're a little bit better than the Garmin you get with the map quest oh but I hated it like I didn't know like I, I had to find his hotel and then I had to find my way back to the turnpike and then I I, I just didn't like it you know it's it's I, I don't like driving alone I don't like driving period like if I don't have to drive I'm, I'm happy about that